Hello my darlings and welcome back to my channel Dad Crafty Gamer where I combine gaming and crafting fun all in one. If you're new to the channel thank you for stopping by. I hope you find something on the channel you enjoy and will consider subscribing and if you've been here a while thank you so much. I appreciate that. Uh, in today's video I will be making myself a uh, I guess it's like a little storage container for my paints and my paint brushes and I will be using a box and I will be using two cans so this is like a recycle slash reuse type of uh, video so um, I've gotten some of my inspiration for these projects from Miss Debbie DIY who does amazing things with boxes and then the other lady that I got the inspiration for uh, who does cans I will just link her in the description as well as Miss Debbie DIY if you guys want to check out some of their stuff to see how I got this inspiration to create my own little uh, paint uh, and paintbrush organizer. So yeah, with that said, I hope you guys enjoy the video and please consider giving it a thumbs up and commenting and sharing with others if you think they would like it. And if you haven't subscribed, feel free to do that as well. And if you decide to subscribe, make sure to follow me on my Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And those links are in the description. So with that said, let's get started. Okay, so for today's project, I have a box, and you will see later, I do cut out the flaps in the inside. Uh, the box, the size for the box is 31 centimeters long, width is 23 centimeters, and depth is 5 centimeters. And then I have these dividers, I believe there are four of those there, and those are cut uh, 21 and a half by 5 centimeters. And then these small dividers, I cut those, I have 12 of those, and they are cut three and a half by five centimeters. And then I actually have two cans. I put that you need three, but whatever. You could do however many cans you want. Uh, it doesn't really matter. I'm just showing that you can fit three cans in this specific box. And then I have the things that I will be embellishing my box and cans with. And I have these blue decals. Uh, they're like gem stickers and my little pink gem stickers. And then I am going to be putting a little, say, you know, a little something on the front. So I have my letters for that. I have the ribbon. But I actually do not end up using the ribbon. And then I have the project tape, which I actually don't use that much either I thought I would because it was a pretty close match and then I have my three different colors of scrapbook paper to wrap the box and the cans with okay now to just go over a couple more things you might need for the project well you definitely need you need either any glue I guess that you choose to use I typically uh, use I use mostly Mod Podge and hot glue for my project you need something to put your glue on there with you can use your glue gun if you're doing that uh, if you use the Mod Podge, your little spongy thing there, and then a cutting tool for your box to get it to the measurements that you want it to, a ruler to measure what you know everything before you cut it out, and your pencil obviously to write down any measurements. Okay, so for this part of the project, I did mention that I was going to remove the flaps from the inside of the box, so that's what we're going to do here. Um, I just feel like that'll help the paper lay down flatter in there whenever I'm like covering the box with the paper. And you're going to see here that I do actually try to hot glue this so that, you know, because you don't want to have that gap, obviously. You want it to be secure. Um, but the hot glue, even though I'm like holding it together and trying to make it work here, it's not doing that great. I mean, with the hot glue and the project tape, which you're going to see, I'm going to use that in a moment. Uh, so I use both to secure it, and it actually works out really well in the end. But yeah, for some reason, it just, the two edges of the box weren't lining up right for me to just hot glue it. So the tape was the better option here for that but we have the double reinforcement of the glue and the tape so and my video does freeze up here when I'm going to cut that so that's why we missed that and there we go it's all secure and now we're going to secure the 
center as well. I just thought that would make the box more sturdy anyway, so that worked out great. Okay, so now we're gonna secure blue paper inside, and I went ahead and did that off camera. And next, I was just showing you guys that I will be covering the outside of the box with this paper. And I'm not gonna show that because it's just me gluing it, but once it's finished, I'll bring that back and show that to you as well. Okay, so I finished securing, putting paper around the outer edges of the box. And then I decided we're gonna go ahead and make it look finished. Make it look finished by adding uh, some more of this paper to the bottom of the box as well. And yep, I will secure that and I'll be right back. Okay, so I finished securing the paper to the outside of the box. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm just showing you guys how it looks. It looks really pretty. I, the colors are great together. And now what I'm gonna do is I, again, I'll do this off camera. I'm just showing you that I will be putting more blue on the inner edges to uh, cover up the box on the inside as well. Okay, so I have finished putting the blue inside our box here and it's looking pretty decent. And this is my first time doing this, but I'm enjoying it. It's just for me anyway, for my paints and paint brushes, so it's all good. Okay, so now what I'm showing you here is I'm basically going to cover each of the dividers um, with the pink scrapbook paper. And yes, I have already cut all that stuff out. So I'm just showing you what you need to do to cover them. And that is what I'll do next. And again, I'm just going to do that off camera and I will bring you back once I finish that. So I'll be right back. Okay, so we have all our pieces covered and in this section I'm basically just going to show you guys how I figure out the spacing for the big dividers and the small dividers. So I just found that using my little bottles of paint <clears throat> and the dividers was the best way to determine how far apart to place each of the small dividers. So as you can see, that is what I'm doing here. We're just gonna figure out our spacing. And once we figure out how we want everything spaced, um, I will then go ahead and start gluing the um, dividers inside the box. Okay, so I have everything divided, and I think what I'm gonna do next is I will end up hot gluing these in, but I will be doing that off camera, and it works out really well, as I will show you in the next clip how secure it is. Okay, so here we are, we're back. I have already hot glued those in there. I just left the paint in there so I could figure out how to hot glue that you know, to make sure I kept the dividers separated even the left and look at that it just it's as secure as can be I can pick up the box by the dividers just by using the hot glue now this here that I'm showing you is I'm just recommending that you only use the hot glue on the bottom of the dividers and not on the sides and my only reasoning for doing that is because if you put the hot glue on the sides of your dividers and then you're putting it down in there I just feel like it's gonna make a big mess and the hot glue is gonna just be like all over the project and I personally didn't want that so um, that's why I was kind of pointing out to y'all when you do hot glue it just hot glue the bottom I mean if you know it of a trick to hot glue the sides without it you know going everywhere by all means share your tricks of the trade with me um, I was just worried about putting the hot glue on there and it just as I pushed it down into the box it just piling up on top of the edge of the box as I was putting it in there so um, I guess what you could do you could make your pieces a little um, shorter that way you don't have that problem but then I'm like I can't guarantee that it's you know 
going to stand up at that point if it's too short. At least if they're the same length as the inside of the box, you know, they'll still fit securely. So now we're just going through and we're doing the next row. And obviously you could do this however you want. If you don't want to um, put your paints all together, um, let's see, I only did four dividers and I only have uh, three, three sets of the small dividers. So, I mean, you could do two sets on one side and then put another divider on the other side of the box and then put some on the other side if you wanted. But I decided to just keep all my paints on one side of the box. And then in the end, you will see that, you know, the other divider is good for separating like my, the cans that I use for my paint brushes and uh, like my glue. And I think I could actually put a ruler in there. I think I was able to put um, some um, paint, um, paint trays in there and everything. And you guys will see that all at the end. But yes, here I'm showing you, I'm just putting the glue on the bottom. I mean, honestly, I did try the glue on the sides just with a couple of the small dividers, um, the first set that I did. And yeah, it just looked too messy. And I showed y'all that they're secure just with them being on the bottom. So with the glue just being on the bottom. So it wasn't really that big a deal. But anyway, I'll let y'all finish watching what I'm doing here because it's pretty self-explanatory. I'm just getting my dividers lined up and gluing them in. Okay, so again here, I'm just showing you guys that there are different ways if you decide to do a project like this that you could set up your box as far as your dividers in your box and stuff. So just showing you, you could put it here or as I'm doing with mine, I just wanted all my paint on one side. So that's what I'm going to stick with and I think it looks really good when we are finished. So. Let's continue and we'll be getting started on our cans next. Okay, so here we are with our cans. I have two cans and then I will be using the heart paper to actually wrap around the cans and the blue strips of paper that I cut up will also go around the can. And then once we are done with those, we will embellish the cans with the um, little jewels and the, um, well, just the jewels actually. The letters aren't used on the cans at all. And for this part, I basically just used my hot glue to secure the. Okay, so we're gonna start by basically putting the heart uh, scrapbook paper in the center. And one thing you will miss here is me actually putting the blue strips around the top and the bottom of the can because my video froze up again. But I think I've actually fixed that this time. I think I just had to adjust the uh, um, delay like when the screen goes to sleep. So I changed that to 30 minutes 
I think it was set at like, I, I don't remember, but it was set kind of low, so every time the monitor would go to sleep, it would freeze the video as I was recording, so <laughs> I finally fixed that. But anyway, we're just securing this to the can with the hot glue, and once we get finished with this, um, I'll bring you guys back and show you the finished part of this, uh, this part of the project where I actually secured the glue around the top. And I'm sorry y'all missed that because the video froze up. So I had to cut that out, unfortunately. And there we go, finishing that up. And then we are going to be right back with the finished cans. Well, they're not finished. I'm just done putting the paper on there. Now I have to say, if I had redone this project, I don't think I would have made um, the blue strips as wide. I would have made them a little thinner because I wanted more of the heart pattern to show through on those rather than being such a small part. So I would have, that's probably the only thing I would have changed up with the cans is that I would have made the blue strip around the top and bottom uh, a less wide. So, and I don't think I actually show you guys here the uh, placement of the jewels. Uh, I do come up with a little bit of an idea why I have you guys here on camera um, but the fact that the jewels take so long to hot glue onto the project and plus I wasn't sure how I wanted to do the pattern for them uh, I do end up doing that off screen but obviously I will bring you guys back and show you what it looks like and I wish I could have done the inside of the cans and unfortunately I not sure how to do that. I guess it wouldn't be that hard, um, but I'm going to be putting paint brushes inside them anyway, so I wasn't that worried about it. Um, I'll probably have a link in my description for the videos of uh, this other lady that I've watched do things with cans, and I think it's a different lady that I watched do um, these amazing things with boxes so she comes up with some great ideas with how to reuse your boxes and stuff so that's where I came up with this idea because my paints and paint brushes just are a mess in my desk so I'm like you know what I want to be able to have them out and actually have them you know organized so that's why I decided to go ahead and make myself an organizer because I'm like I had the perfect box and everything for it and yeah, and watching that lady's videos inspired me. I don't know her name off the top of my head right now, um, but I will post it in my description if you guys would like to know who she was. And actually, I might have mentioned it at the beginning of the video um, because I was thinking about that whenever I was making this video. So, um, yeah, so if y'all want to check out some of the stuff that the two ladies have done with cans and the boxes, uh, their information will be provided uh, in my description and probably at the beginning or at the ending of this video or I don't know maybe both who knows I haven't quite decided that yet so but I do want to you know give them credit for helping to inspire me to make my own stuff so but anyway as you can see I'm coming up with ideas here and I'm like well you know I'm gonna do this off camera and I'll just bring you guys back once I've come up with something and yeah so we'll continue from there okay so here we are we are back this is the idea I came up with my cans it's not great but you know it is my first try but I do like them I think they're uh, kind of cute so I just wish I hadn't made the blue borders as big as I did but you know it works all the colors look great together and I'm gonna actually embellish the box in a similar way so that you know they look like they're meant to be together and I'm showing you here that I am going to embellish it but I'll be doing that off camera it takes forever to glue these uh, little gems on there and you'll see that in the end I don't embellish the whole thing just the front and the two sides so I hope you all like it okay right, so here we are I have finished it I think it looks really pretty oh I love it 
Um, I am going to put the letters on there in front of you guys. The only reason I didn't do the beads like with you guys watching is because that is such a lengthy process to put the beads on there um, with the hot glue. It takes forever. Now the little blue beads, I didn't actually have to glue each and individual one of those on there because I didn't mind the spacing as they were on the stickers because they are stickers so I was able to just you know, take them off in like the strips and just stick them on there in the strips so and I just wanted to add this on here I just thought it was cute to say that's crafty um, because that is me that crafty gamer so and I love these letters they were super cute and I was just using the uh, painters tape to make sure I got it on there as straight as I could get it on there and I was just thinking a lot of people these days don't learn cursive writing so I'm like some people may not even really get what that says but I guess because the letters are kind of separated a little bit you know <clears throat> and they're not like cursive like I'm used to you they don't the letters don't all connect each other then maybe some people will get it but some people might be like what the heck is that what is that foreign language I don't know maybe maybe there are people that still you know actually know what it is that haven't actually had cursive writing but I know they don't really do that in schools it doesn't seem like anymore so anyway what do y'all think isn't that just super adorable and now I'm just erasing any lines that I put on there to mark where I wanted to put everything I just think it looks so adorable the cans look adorable awesome Okay, my darlings, now that I have completed this project, I am going to fill it up with all those awesome things that I actually made it for. And just to give you the name of the lady that I watched get inspiration for this, well, there's a couple of people, but unfortunately, I don't know how to pronounce the one lady's name, so I'm not going to do that, but I will put her name down in the... Um, description so you guys can go look at her stuff and she's the one that did the cans but if you want that gave me inspiration for the cans now miss debbie diy is where i got my inspiration to use the box to make all these uh, you know, to just make this awesome project to put my paint in and my paint brushes and all that good stuff so yeah, so Miss Debbie DIY, if y'all want to check out, she does some pretty amazing things with uh, cardboard boxes. So way better than I have done. And she edits her videos way better too. I wasn't sure how to do mine. I kind of tried to do it the way she did it, but you know, I'm not as savvy as she is, I guess, with my, uh, you know, putting together and editing of these videos. So yeah, I hope y'all liked the project. If you did, please consider giving it a thumbs up and sharing it with others. And if you haven't subscribed, you could consider doing that as well. And by all means, comment below. Let me know what you think of it. Um, I'm pretty pleased with how it turned out. Uh, like I said, the one thing I would change would just be the borders of the blue on the cans. And maybe I would have drawn out a, a pattern idea for how I wanted to put the jewels on there. I'm all about drawing out my ideas on paper. But I didn't do that with this project. I kind of just went with the flow and just did what I wanted to do. So, And I just got all these paint brushes for uh, Christmas. So I was like, you know what? I put them in there. This stuff was just all disorganized in my, my desk, which is where I do my crafting at. So figured well we'll just make this cute little thing so the only money I spent was um, like for the paper to wrap on the boxes and I want to say the paper was like 79 cents each or maybe 20 some cents each well no did I get them at Hobby Lobby or Michaels I think I got this stuff uh, maybe it was either Hobby Lobby or Michaels so anywhere between 79 cents and uh, like 29 cents for the paper so I think I got three of the heart paper and two of the blue and the pink paper or something maybe I got three of each but anyway I hope you all like the project if you did like I said please give it a thumbs up consider following and definitely comment below 
you know, any interaction on the video does help me get recognized. All right, and have a good day. Bye.